Today, one of the biggest global challenges we face is how we are going to be able to supply enough energy for everyone in the future. Globally, we are using more and more energy. We all want electricity for our homes and fuel for our cars. We need our factories to work and our planes to fly. But we know that traditional energy sources, fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal, won't last forever and are causing environmental problems like climate change. Some energy sources, like nuclear power, can also be harmful when accidents occur. The development of new energy sources is becoming more important across the world. People are looking for sources of energy that are safe and cheap, like wind power, solar energy from our homes or huge solar farms, or hydroelectric power using our rivers and lakes. We need energy that won't run out, renewable energy, and energy that won't damage the environment, green energy. Some of these energy sources are already well known. And most people have opinions about what kind of energy we will be using in the future. And what's the best kind of renewable energy? I think we will use more wind um, energy. Uh, and I think that we'll use more solar energy. I, I believe the government is investing in that. People will probably use more solar energy, uh, more wind power. Um, more hydro power? In the future, I think we will use more renewable forms of energy, especially as fossil fuels are running out. I feel solar power, wind power will be increasing uh, in the future, and I think that will be more sustainable for our development. A few countries, like Iceland, are lucky. They already have their own renewable power supply, geothermal power. Geothermal power provides over 60% of Iceland's energy. Across the country, they use the boiling hot water from under the surface of the earth to make electricity. This electricity is clean and green and will never run out. But other countries are looking at the problem of energy use in a different and dramatic way. They are building new cities that try to change the way we live and use energy, today and in the future. In the United Arab Emirates, they are building a new green city where renewable energy is at the heart of the development. Mazdar City is a walled city 11 miles from the city of Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. British architects Foster and Partners designed the city. And the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company is building it. The first residents moved in in 2009 but it probably won't be finished until 2025 or 2030. Mazdar City is a very big project. Mazdar is going to be a square, nearly a mile wide. And when it is finished, they hope that about 40,000 people will live in the city, and another 50,000 will commute to Mazdar every day from across the United Arab Emirates.
The brand new high-tech Mazda City will use only solar, wind and other clean, green, renewable energy sources. They will also try to reduce energy use as much as possible. By designing buildings and streets to use shade and wind to stay cool when the temperature outside can rise to over 40 degrees, the city will use less energy. The city will also recycle most of its water and waste. One of the most important ideas for reducing energy use in Mazda is that you won't be able to drive a normal car in the city. Instead, there will be public transport using electric vehicles and a personal rapid transit system. The personal rapid transit system uses small pods that travel on magnets in the roads across the city. You will get into a pod at stations around the city, choose where you want to go on the touch screen and the pod will carry you to your destination. The design of the city encourages people to walk. The staircases are large and lifts are hard to find. Building a new city is very expensive and complicated. But at the Mazda Institute of Science and Technology and across Mazda City, they are using and testing technology that hopefully will be used around the world in the future.